Hey, what's up guys? Kyle Jones, Jones Sport Fishing. Today is Sunday, the uh, 5th of June. It's actually my birthday. So, uh, and this is your Clearwater Spring Chinook report for uh, this week. Guys, this uh, this last week fishing on the Clearwater has been has been pretty darn outstanding. We've had boats out pretty much every day, and we've been getting fish every day. Um, it seems like eggs have still been our our number one bait, but it does seem like when the water temperature gets up above that 45 range, which it is up around Orofino, we start to see a pretty good quick fish bite. So. I think tomorrow, I had the last couple of days off. Today I fished with my family, which is pretty cool. But uh, we got out, got Kylie a fish, and then thunderstorm hit, and so we rolled in. But uh, yeah, so the big thing for me, when the water temperature is above 45, plugs are part of the game. If it's below 45, it seems like it's all eggs. And then um, once this water temperature starts to keep climbing and gets up into the 50s, there's a few other things that we start to do. We start to, the coon shrimp start to come out. Um, and believe it or not, there's actually a herring bite when the water gets warmer. I, when that water temperature, there'll be a point where this season where things start to get a little bit weird. Water temperature will get in the 55 inch range, 56, that kind of thing. It starts to warm up. The fish will get kind of goofy, uh, especially if the water's clear. And there's been times when the water's like that where herring has just turned out to be the absolute go-to. So that's one of my little tri tips of the tricks. As we get later in the season, that water warms up, the fish get weird, start running herring and coon shrimp uh, and add lots and lots of salts to that. But um, for now, it's been pretty much all eggs with some quicks mixed in. I think this week, quick fish will probably be a really solid option. I know there's guys that run quicks every day, kind of regardless of what's going on and they do really well, but those have just been my adjustments. The other thing that I'm noticing now is yes, there are fish spread out from Lewiston all the way to Kuski. I'm sure there's fish in the South Fork, but it does seem like the lower end of the river is starting to get a little bit more sparse. Um, there's still fish there. It just seems like maybe some of the bigger concentrations of fish are upriver a little bit more. So we're talking like Orofino, Kuski, the South Fork. I haven't heard a report off South Fork yet, but I'm excited. I'm gonna go up there, hopefully, maybe not this week, but the week after I'll take the boys up there. We'll do some bobber fishing and hopefully shoot some video on that because that should be pretty cool i like getting up there the there's if you guys are used to fishing the little salmon you know in that uh bank fishing water and stuff uh the south fork's a completely different animal it's miles and miles and miles of river and a uh, lots of it have fish in it and it gets really spread out it's not crowded you can usually go find a hole fish by yourself it is a long ways for a lot of people so that helps and the fish aren't super concentrated so the catch rates up there aren't really all that high but it can be absolutely enjoyable. So we're gonna we're gonna keep pounding. Uh, I know we'll at least have this week, hopefully, um, and then maybe we'll get some of the next week. I don't know. This has just been awesome. This this uh, we've had the combination of the high water and a really good Chinook return has kind of kept harvest from getting really out of control. Sometimes when we have lower water, really easy fishing conditions, harvest just goes through the roof. But um, this year, it's been lots of high water, a fair amount of dirty water, and it keeps raining, stuff's goofy. And so Harvest has just kind of chugged along at this, this nice, even, steady pace, which has given us just a beautifully good, long season. Um, so that's really what we're banking on. I'm going to spend a fair amount of time in the Orofino area this week, and uh, I'm sure I'm not going to be alone. And, you know, when it gets like this and fishing gets really, really good, sometimes we blow through that remaining quota on the lower river. My permit, I'm allowed to fish from guide from Orofino down. Um, the stretch from Orofino to Kuski has some fantastic fishing in it. Um, before I had my own license, I used to guide up in there, and those were some of my favorite days a little bit later in the year when um, maybe the Orofino area was closed or there was a lot of people there. We could always sneak up river and get some fish. So I'm looking forward to getting back up in there with my family. I can't guide up in there anymore. Um, yet hopefully maybe someday i'll get that permit to you but um otherwise we're gonna be down around orofino we're gonna we're gonna run this to the end and we're gonna have fun with it so um as for this week um it's probably gonna be eggs i'll probably start i have i have had some good bites on coon shrimp so i'll probably keep mixing up some coon shrimp within my spread just to give the fish something different to look at because almost everybody's running eggs so it's nice to run a little coon shrimp out there too so anyway guys that's my report oh another part of it there's definitely fish getting caught on the salmon. I had buddies over in the Riggins area the last couple of days and uh, fishing wasn't lights out, but it was pretty good. So anyway, 
Hope you guys enjoy these reports. We're going to keep doing them as long as this season is open and we're still fishing. We're going to be doing them. And uh, the other thing, guys, the other really cool season we have coming up, we have our Upper Columbia Summer Chinook stuff. That opens on July 1. So just if you can't get in on this springer season, July 1, two adult limit, fishing in the summer. It's amazing. So anyway, guys, God bless you guys. Have a great day. Have a good week. I will catch you later.